Quartz crystals have come a long way in recent years, from things like this and this to this. Well, oh dear, I've dropped it. You probably couldn't have even seen it anyway. But this little wonder is an amazing piece of technology. So what I'll do is let you into some of its secrets so you can use it in your circuits to great effect. I'll take a look at the device itself and then we'll look at its performance and then we'll go on to have a look inside one of these uh, crystals even though it's so small. These little quartz crystal resonators provide amazing performance as you will see. The crystal is the IQXC240 range from IQD and it measures just 1.2 times 1.0 millimeters. But of course, when they come, they're all properly packaged in an SMT reel so you won't lose them like I did. In terms of their performance, these crystals are available with frequencies between 32 and 80 megahertz and they come with a temperature range which can be up to uh, minus 40 to plus 125 degrees C. The frequency tolerance of these crystals is also very good with a figure of plus and minus 7 parts per million at room temperature and then plus and minus 10 parts per million over the temperature range. And being an 80 cut crystal, they follow the third order poly polynomial curve. That sounds really impressive, doesn't it? Well, in reality, what this means is that you know how the frequency will vary with temperature. If we take a dive inside the crystal itself, you'll see a polished crystal blank with a silver electrode plated onto it. This is electrically and mechanically connected to the ceramic package with silver loaded silicon. And as a final point, when you receive samples, they come in a great little pack with the crystals inside. But actually, who cares about the packaging? What's really important is that each of the crystals has been characterized so you know exactly what you're trying out and all the important parameters are included on a printout. That's what I call great service.